I'm the angry chemist. Watch if you want, see if I care. Be careful though, you might learn something if you do. All right then, so for what it's worth, um, we're going to look at some reactions of alkenes here. Um, electrophilic addition. You probably forget that. So these are all of the reactions you're going to need to know um, at AQA in particular. Um, these are the ones that you're supposed to know, but let's be honest, you're probably not going to learn them all because we know you're probably lazy and you're watching this video the night before the exam. Good luck to you. So this then, uh, we're going to look at alkenes and there's three reactions of alkenes that we look at. Um, we're only looking at two of those in this video, not because I can't be bothered, it's because the alkene to alcohol actually comes at the start of the alcohol spec. So you'll find that then when I can come, when I, well, you know, whenever I come around to doing that one. But we're going to look at this alkene to alkyl hydrogen sulfate and we'll also look at an alkene to a halo alkane. Clicker wasn't working then. I was going to have to pack in and just give up. Um, right, so those are the reactions then. We're going to look at use of bromine for test run saturation, which you've done before, but whether you can remember or not is up to you. Um, and then we're going to look at HBr and H2SO4. The truth is it can be any halogen, so it doesn't have to be bromine, and it can be any hydrogen halide. It doesn't have to be HBr, all right? So calm down if the one that you did in school or college was different. So we're going to start then with this nice arrow here, it looks yellow, look, an alkene to a halo alkane. And as I've said, it can be HX or X2. Now, if it's HX, we need to be or might need to be careful with the major and the minor product because they love this in exams. And no matter how many times I tell you about it or teach you about it, you always get it wrong. So really, I should probably just go downstairs now and watch the telly and stop wasting my time. Um, but actually, it's middle of the day, it's half term, and there's nothing much worth watching. Well, actually, it's Champions League tonight. I might watch that. So let's let's hurry up, eh? So this is HBr. This is an alkene. Say, hi, nice to meet you, alkene. And then HBr comes along. HBr is polar. And this is the first step of the mechanism. Now that carbon double bonded to a carbon, that's the alkene, isn't it? Yes, it's a carbon double bonded to a carbon. It's a sigma bond and a pi bond. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But actually, I do. I've got a video. Watch it if you want or don't. Who cares? So the first thing that happens is the pi bond attacks the delta positive hydrogen, not the other way round, the arrow goes from the double bond to the hydrogen, not from the hydrogen to the double bond. You'll get that marked wrong because the arrow shows the movement of electrons. It's the pi electrons forming a new bond with that hydrogen. And then this hydrogen bromide bond has to break. Look, there you go. We it's broken. Now, there's actually two possibilities here. The hydrogen either bonds to the carbon on the left or the carbon on the right. I've decided just for the first one to show it bonded to the carbon on the left. That means that the bromine would then bond to the carbon on the right. And that would be one of the products. It is possible, though, for the opposite to happen, where it actually will form this intermediate so it's possible that the hydrogen can bond to the right as well as on the left which means we'd also make this product so we get a mixture of products here there's two possible products and if you see my video on the major and minor one of these will be major and one of them will be minor don't guess okay don't guess just watch the video or find out for yourself don't just guess. Now, a bit easier if we add bromine because we don't need to worry about mixture of products. 
bromine is in fact the test for an alkene, isn't it? Awkward silence. Bromine is orange brown solution, or bromine water is an orange brown solution. When it reacts with an alkene, it decolorizes, the color disappears. So it decolorizes, it goes from orange brown solution to a colorless solution. Don't say clear solution, because I'll just mark it wrong, because people seem to think that colorless and clear are the same thing. Just think about it, will you? Now, we do have a slight problem here, because bromine is in fact non-polar so halogens are non-polar okay but what do we have here everybody look this is an area of high electron density it's a double bond there's four electrons there that's embarrassing that's just loads of electrons electrons are negative so that causes a repulsion of these electrons because electrons are negative and electrons are negative they repel so it actually causes a temporary dipole in the halogen good that isn't it you're probably going to forget that though, and it'll be three marks if they ask you in the exam. So good luck. So we get a temporary dipole. Then we get the same mechanism. Look, the pi bond attacks the delta positive bromine. Then that bond breaks. And then we get our first product. And there you go. You get your dibromo substance. Okay. It is possible, I suppose, that you will get both intermediates. But the truth is, they both just make the same product. So there's your mixture, there's your two different products, but they're not different at all, are they? No, they're not. Okay, good. Um, right, what else do I have to do? I've got to put the kettle on, but I suppose I'll finish this because I'm nearly done. Um, so there's the second reaction now. We're going to look at an alkene to an alkyl hydrogen sulfate. There we go. We're going to use sulfuric acid. It's going to be concentrated. And again, got to be careful with the mage and the minor minor what the mage and the minor product and this is still electrophilic addition now people really seem to get stressed and cry about this it's not really worth it okay it's the exact same things we've seen before with the hbr okay sulfuric acid looks like that looks a bit like a spaceship um but it's the same as HBr, really. It's the exact same thing. Look, you've got an OH, you've got a sulfur with two OH groups and two dual bonded um, oxygens. And that's permanent dipole there, look. So we get the same mechanism, look. It's the same thing I'm showing you here. It's exactly the same as HBr, just the same. It's the same as HBr. It's the same thing. The hydrogen bonds to the either left or the right carbocation. The only thing that's different here is instead of having Br minus, it's just this looks a bit more fancy, really. It's the same thing, look. There we go. And there's my product. Where is it? Come on, clicker, work. There's your product, look. Okay, same as HBr, same as HBr. Now, obviously, same as HBr, we get two possible outcomes here because we could. Come on, clicker. We could have had the carbocation on the left instead of the right and then it's just the other product look just the same thing isn't it just in a different position so we've got a position isomer here all right then so um before i go and make that cuppa let's uh look at the summary then what, what have we just done now i didn't talk about this one across the top it doesn't appear in your spec, um, it, but it appears in all your textbooks and your revision guides, so I guess I'll just go with it as well. Um, but you can turn an alkene into an alkane by adding hydrogen. Funny enough, that isn't it, because all you've got to do is put hydrogen on each of those carbons. Um, you do, though, need a nickel catalyst for this, and it's called hydrogenation. Um, again, like I've said, that's not on your spec, but what the heck, eh? Um, the first one we looked at then was this one here. It was an alkene to a halo alkane. You can use HX to make your halo alkane, or if you used X2, you'd get a dihalo alkane. And that was our test, wasn't it, for the alkene. You can add bromine water, which is orange brown, and it will decolorize, funny enough, because the bromine water's gone. Be careful with your major and your minor products if you're using HX. That's called an addition reaction, and the mechanism is electrophilic addition. And again, over here, we've just seen an alkene to an alkyl hydrogen sulfate. They look impressive, but it was just the same. Um, this time, though, it was H2SO4. Careful with your major and your minor. Um, sulfuric acid was concentrated. Again, it's called an addition reaction, and it's electrophilic addition.
there we go not hard is it but you know you've left it too late so you probably don't know them um yeah good luck don't know why i'm finishing on this but everyone else on youtube does so there you are um yeah bye